Hi, I'm Daniel Garner, and in today's how-to guide, I'm going to show you how to perform some simple health checks on your generator. Whether your generator runs all day, every day, or if it's just for standby, there are a few simple health checks that you can give your generator to make sure it's in tip-top condition. Today we're going to look at a JCB G66QS, but these checks will apply to any JCB generator. The first thing we're going to check is that the machine has enough air. This is important because the engine needs air for combustion and also for cooling. So take a look around the generator. When it's running, the generator will draw air in from this end, pass it over the alternator, over the engine and through the radiator to keep it cool, and then blow the hot air out at the opposite end. So have a look around the set and make sure that there is nothing that's going to interfere with this airflow. Pallets stacked on the roof and equipment lent up against the generator are a definite no-no. Ideally, there should be one metre of clear space around the generator to allow cool air in and the top needs to be kept clear to allow the hot air to get out. While you are checking the cooling of your generator, it's a good idea to have a look at the level of the coolant in the system. The level tank on the side of the radiator easily shows if the coolant level is in a healthy range. As well as keeping the engine cool, airflow is important as the engine needs a certain amount of air for combustion. This air is drawn in through the engine air filter and over time this filter can become blocked with dust and other debris. The JCB QS generator has a handy indicator to tell you at a glance if it's blocked without having to remove the filter and have a look. In addition to air, your generator is also going to need some fuel. Running out of fuel is the number one reason that engineers get called out to machines which the operator believes has broken down. You can check the levels in your base tank by looking at the generator controller. It's also worth checking the fuel pre-filter bowl to make sure there's no water contamination. Flat batteries are also high on the list of the most common breakdown callouts. You can access the battery voltage on your machine through the deep sea controller for a quick check. As you can see, this machine has a healthy battery voltage of 12.7 volts. And while you're checking the electrical system, it's a good idea to check the emergency stop buttons. Nobody can resist a big red button, and you'll not be surprised to know the emergency stop activation, along with flat batteries, form two of the most common reasons for engineer callouts. Just give the buttons a quick twist to make sure they're not pushed in. The next thing to check is the engine oil level. The location of the dipstick will differ depending on the model you have, but all the dipsticks on the QS are clearly visible and the exact location is shown in your manual. With the engine cold, remove the dipstick, clean it off and reinsert it. Then check the oil level against the level indicators. The last thing to check might not be applicable to you. If your generator runs all the time, then you'll know how to start and stop it. However, if your generator is for standby use, then please, please, please check that the control panel is set to automatic start. If not, then when there is a power cut, you'll be running around outside with a torch trying to manually start your generator. If your generator is fitted with JCB LiveLink, then you can log onto the LiveLink portal at any time, day or night, to check the health and status of your generator. Please remember to refer to the operator's manual for further instruction. And stay safe. Remember, electricity can kill. If in doubt, contact your local JCB dealer or consult an electrician. Thanks for watching.